Hi, welcome to Promix Journey. Today, what I'm about to show you how to normalize your tracks within your DAW. But first, what is the purpose of normalization or gain normalization? So basically, uh, gain normalization is to provide you a consistent volume and consistent loudness. It would also optimize the loudness, particularly optimizing the peak. So we don't want any distortion in your tracks. As you can see in my screen, you'll see some of the tracks that are not the same. Like this one, it's kind of huge. But although if you get to the clip view, you'll see that this is 0 0.77. But when I get to these overheads, it's pretty low waveform. So we want to have a consistency here. So what I'm about to do is to click this one. Make sure that you get to the clip view and then make it like negative 10. So this um, technique is something I learned from the recent Mixathon session organized by Mastering.com and I've learned so many things from them. And this negative 10 is... I don't know if this is a standard. Please comment down in the comment section if this is the one. But this is what they've taught us in the session and they're pro so basically this is something what I want to share with you guys so yeah um, let's get back to this one so I've already changed this track to negative 10 I'm about to change this one to negative 10 by the way Ableton doesn't have the same functionality as Logic Pro where you can select all and then once you select all there's an option there to do the regional gain normalization and then you just click it all at once and then it will be applied to the entire tracks but in ableton i don't know but yeah uh let me know in the comment section if ableton has this one but so far i've been searching for it but ableton doesn't provide any documentation on this one but maybe i'm wrong as you can see, I've already put negative 10 here and here. So what I'll do is to do um, to use negative 10. So you see that they're almost the same. And this one. I think that's pretty much it. By the way, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button to see more mix and mastering tips from me so see you there